Now let's create a two of three multisig wallet. So one of the keys will be Spectre DIY, another one that is storing the secret on the smart card, another one will be Kobo, and the third one will be our paper backup. Uh, and to generate this paper backup uh, key, we will also use Spectre DIY, but in amnesic mode, when it forgets the secret, when it is turned off. Uh, so first, let's start with importing the multi-seq keys from here. So we have already the secret loaded from the smart card, so we go to the master public keys and to the multi-seq. Uh, and then we just uh, add a new key to the device, so uh, to the Spectre DIY. Add more keys, scan the QR code, and we get a multi seek key here, uh, and we add it. Great. Uh, so now uh, let's make another secret that will be our paper backup. So we turn off the device, uh, turn it back on. And then after we entered the pin. Instead of loading the secret from the smart card, we will actually generate a new key uh, or uh, enter the recovery phrase if you generated it previously. So let's just generate the new key. So this will be our key. We can edit it, uh, we can uh, change it a bit, whatever. Uh, and then when we wrote it down uh, and put it on the paper, uh, we proceed further. And now we can import the corresponding uh, master public keys. So in Spectre Desktop, we create a new device and that will be Spectre DIY and we call it, call it Backup. Uh, and then here we go to master public keys, multi-seq, and we import it. Great. Uh, so for this one, we only need a multi seek key, so we don't need to add anything else. Uh, so we just add the device. Uh, great, now we have the backup and the DIY key. Uh, and we can now turn off the device and then the secret will be erased from memory and just make sure that you have your paper backup uh, properly backed up. Yeah. Uh, great, and then the third device uh, is Kobo. So we turn on Kobo. We add it, and let's see, here is the Kobo. We call it Kobo. And then we go in Kobo menu to multi-seq wallet. Uh, three dots here, show export XPOP. We have the XPOP, native segwit, all correct. We scan the QR code, uh, and we Oh, yeah, so one thing, uh, I need to change the settings to testnet, because I'm using testnet. Confirm, confirm, native, I don't need this, so I need to go back, and then multi-seq, and show export text pop, and so here I will remove the one that I scanned already and I will scan the testnet one. Uh, okay, so now we have uh, multi seek segwit, uh, account zero imported. So we end the device and we have three devices so we can create our multi seek wallet now. So we add new wallet, multi seek backup, Kobo DIY, continue, two of three, uh, multi, Seek uh, two of three. That's correct. The keys are correct. We create it. Great. Uh, Spectre Desktop also recommends you to save the backup file. It makes sense to actually save it because if one of the recovery phrases is lost, you still need uh, XPUBs uh, to get access to your funds. So make sure that you have this uh, PDF backup somewhere. Uh, maybe even in the cloud or on the USB drive or printed out. Um, yeah, so we have the multi-sig wallet now uh, and both Kobo and Spectre DIY need to know about this multi-sig wallet. So let's start with the 
uh, with Kobo. We go to settings and we go to export, uh, show Kobo QR code. Uh, so then here in Kobo, we go to AutoSeq and then um, I think you need to import an AutoSeq wallet. And then we scan. So if, okay, it actually scanned successfully. Uh, so we need to check uh, the cosigners, fingerprints, and VPUBs. So I will keep it uh, enabled. And I will do the same on Spectre DIY. So on Spectre DIY, uh, I load the secret from the card. And then uh, here I click on show DIY QR code and scan this QR code. So when it is scanned, I will also see uh, the derivation path and the X pops. And uh, Spectre DIY also shows you that one of the keys is, is belonging to this uh, device. Uh, we also can see the same information here. Um, I need to enter my pin code, well, password. Yep. Uh, the only problem is that here it is showing in the Electrum style and uh, Spectre shows it in the canonical style, uh, like Bitcoin Core. So probably we need to make another toggle here that will switch between the two. Uh, okay, but anyways, we can confirm uh, adding of this wallet. Uh, and now we have our wallets here and we have our multi-sig wallet. Great. And we can see that so you can browse through the addresses here as well. And you can verify that by um, going to the receive tab and comparing these two, uh, or just uh, verifying the address via QR code and scanning this QR code. So it will be able to derive the correct address as well. Mm. Okay, uh, now it's time to actually send some funds from it. Uh, so what we do, we first need to get some funds and let's get these funds from um, our single key wallet. So we just enter this address, we send one Bitcoin there, create and sign transaction, uh, DIY QR code, and then we scan this code if you have problems scanning this code, oh, actually it worked. You can also click here and it will start animating. But it actually worked. So what we see that we are spending uh, 1.8 to this, uh, one Bitcoin goes to this address and then the change output. Okay, so confirm. We get the QR code that we can scan. And again, if you have problems with that, click. And done. Uh, great, so now we have some funds on our multisig wallet and we can send them um, back or to some random address. So let's send point two, create and send transaction. And here we have three buttons. Uh, one per device. So we are uh, signing with DIY first. So we sign using QR codes. We scan this QR code. And we see that we are send, spending one Bitcoin from Multiseq and 0.2 goes to this address and the change output uh, that is change number zero uh, receives 0.7999. Okay, looks good. We confirm. And scan back the signed transaction. Great, so we see the checkbox here. So our signature uh, got verified. Uh, and now on Kobo, we do the same. We click on Kobo, uh, QR code, scan, Q 
QR code is pretty large. So let's try animating it. Okay, with animated it works much better. Yeah, we verify the transaction. Again, the same information as Inspector DIY. Sign. Password. And we have a QR code with the signed transaction. So we scan it. I think that if you tap on it, it will also increase. Okay. A little bit difficult to scan dense QR codes, but we got it. Great. So now we can send the transaction and the transaction is sent. Uh, we did our two or three mods seek with DIY, Koba, and the paper backup that nobody except the paper knows the secret of.